Do you need earwax removal? Well, in this video, I'm talking about how to clean your ears. Coming up. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek, audiologist, audio engineer, and musician with ProfitHearing.com, bringing you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids, headphones, and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications if you enjoy this video, and check out my free ebook, How to Buy Hearing Aids, in the pinned comment in description below. Today, I'm talking about how to clean your ears. We may all have excess cerumen or earwax from time to time, but it can be especially a problem if you're using hearing aids or earplugs. Inserting these devices into your ear canal can cause earwax to build up. First, if you've experienced a sudden change in hearing, ear pain, ear fullness, vertigo, or ear drainage, consult with your doctor as soon as possible. So the first thing I recommend is that you do not use a cotton swab to clean your ears. It's only okay for cleaning around the outside of your ear. Pushing a cotton swab into your ear canal will likely push the wax deeper down inside. This could cause your wax to become impacted and make the situation even worse. Plus there's a danger of accidentally pushing in too far and injuring your eardrum. The old advice still holds true, don't put anything in your ears smaller than your elbow. I also don't recommend ear candling. Ear candles can lead to burns, wax drips onto the ear, or even a damaged eardrum. So if you believe you have a buildup of earwax, you have four options. Option one, do nothing. You can just let your ears clean themselves. Earwax should slowly work itself out of your ear canal and fall out of the ear. Earwax naturally protects our ears from debris and bacteria. However, earwax should be removed if it's impacting your hearing. Option number two, call your primary care physician for an evaluation. Many offices will offer earwax removal with an ear lavage and your doctor will determine if it's appropriate for you. Your doctor will look into your ears, possibly apply some earwax softening drops, and then use an ear lavage to rinse out the wax. Option number three, contact an ear, nose, and throat doctor or ENT. You might be able to self-refer or need a referral from your primary care physician. An ENT has access to special tools like an ear microscope, suction device, and curettes which can include wire loops and scoops to remove your earwax. A visit to the ENT will give you a thorough cleaning, but an ENT appointment might be reserved for more complex ear cleaning like severe impaction for people with a history of ear surgery or for those with other medical conditions. Option number four, ask your physician if it's okay to use an earwax removal kit from your local pharmacy. Your physician will know your specific medical situation and whether it's okay to proceed with an over-the-counter solution for self-cleaning. So for today's question, have you experienced earwax buildup and how did you resolve it? Let's connect in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you receive value from this video, please like it, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Make sure to check out the notes in the description below for more information and connect with Profit Hearing on social media. Be a part of the Profit Hearing community. If you're interested in hearing aids, click on the link in the description below for my free ebook, How to Buy Hearing Aids. Know what to ask your audiologist or hearing aid specialist so that your hearing aids are easy to use and have all the features you're looking for. Remember, Profit Hearing brings you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids, headphones, and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.